What's going on guys? It's like a hero and I just want to start off by saying thank you guys so much for the support with the content over on the YouTube. Really appreciate it. I was able to hit a challenge tier 15 as a solo player uh, doing the expeditions as a trickster as well. Uh, this video today is going to be a build video and before we get into that guys make sure to hit the subscribe on this channel on this video. Make sure to like the video if you like the video. Uh, this was all done solo gameplay throughout. So any uh, support with the algorithm is really appreciated. Also, I'm streaming almost nightly over on Twitch TV slash like a hero. You can check out uh, the stream there live. And that's uh, evenings around 5 p.m. Pacific Center Time, 8 p.m. Eastern. You can swing by. I'm going to start doing community carry. So we're, we're going to be helping the community reach level challenging uh, tier 15 as well. Thank you guys so much. And let's get right into the video. Just want to quickly point out that this was done as a solo player and the build does have certain things, certain differences that you might have in a group play. And most of those have to do with survivability. But let's start off with the weapon that I'm using, the Darkness Charmer, the Legendary Pump Action Standard Variation Shotgun. I definitely recommend a pump action shotgun for this. You don't need to have the Darkness Charmer. The Darkness Charmer just rolled with Perpetuum Mobile, so it was easy for me to then mod it to put Killing Spree on it. Perpetuum Mobile instantly replenishes your magazine if you kill an enemy with 35% or less ammo remaining in your magazine. Okay, so when you're about to run out, you kill an enemy, it replenishes it to full. Killing Spree is the other mod that I have on here. Killing shots increase damage by 25% for the weapon for 20 seconds. Bonus deteriorates, however, it does stack up to three kills. So that's three, it's 75% increased damage. Really good one. For this build, and we're gonna talk about the skills later, it's very important that you go with a standard variation of a pump action shotgun, not the breacher. That's gonna have less RPM, that's gonna have higher RPM, but lower damage. So avoid breacher variations of pump action shotguns. Now, for my gear, let's talk about the mods. When you're trying to create this build, you want to have the same amount, the same mods, but not necessarily in the same slots. So that might be a little bit difficult. For your three main attributes, you should always shoot for firepower, cooldown reduction, and close range damage. Not to say that the other ones aren't good, but those are the three ones. Ideally, those are the three attributes that I would have. Strong Twist and Bloodlust are mods that are going to increase your firepower. Bloodlust is a tier two mod that increases your firepower by 27,000. It stacks up to three times. I do have Radiation Jump, which inflicts vulnerable on enemies. Whenever I teleport behind them, it inflicts a vulnerable, so they're taking 20% more damage. I have Damage Absorber. Now, this one is, I have two of them. This one's giving me armor, 47,000, and resistances by 10%. This is important because I am doing solo, so I need to put some survivability in here. Resistance is protection provided. Uh, by my gear against anomaly attacks and status attacks. Okay, at my current armor level, I'm currently sitting at 65% physical damage reduction. So that mod damage absorber is reducing that damage as well. For my leg armor, I do have no escape, which is Venator's knife. It increases the skill's effective range between targets by 25%. Not super stoked about that one. I would probably take a damaging. Uh, mod there. However, it's what I have. Again, you want to put as much damage as you can. Throw in survivability when you need to. For my second mod, I have Buckshot Shells, which is shotgun weapon damage is increased by 10%. Pretty straightforward. Re just a quick reminder, remember you want firepower, cooldown reduction, and close range damage as your three main attributes. So that's, that's what I want. That's what I recommend. We talked about survivability and here on my gloves, I do have a little bit more. Uh, I have Mitigation from Death, which is killing enemies while aiming down sights, grants 45,000 points of armor for 10 seconds, and it stacks up to three times. So you're looking at almost 150,000 more armor if you're just aiming down the sights. Now remember, you just have to kill three of three NPCs, three mobs, and then go back to hip firing. But make sure you're doing that consistently throughout to make sure you, you're keeping that armor bonus active. Personal Space grants you 15% close range weapon damage again those are our stats close range weapon damage we we want as much as that as we can because we're that's where we're going to live now for my boots i do have blue blood and emergency stance blue blood uh, is twisted rounds mod that receives 10 percent weapon leech bonus while the skill is active so it's more survivability and 
uh, you, you need that, especially when you're solo, okay? So when I'm doing damage, I get 10% of that damage as heals. Now, the second mod is Golem. Four second cooldown. Whenever my health drops below 30%, I get Golem. And it's just for survivability. Let's talk about the skills. Our main source of damage, our highest source of damage is going to be Twisted Rounds. And that's important because Twisted Rounds, Twisted Rounds fills our current weapons magazine with anomaly infused bullets and increases its firepower by 21,500. This skill lasts as until you reload or switch weapons. Now, remember our legendary weapon that we had and the mod specifically, Perpetua Mobile? This mod is going to make it so we never have to reload. We're going to be constantly replenishing our ammo whenever we kill an enemy when we have that magazine down to 35%. So we just get full ammo. This means you never reload. This means your twisted rounds never end. You just have to make sure that when you're getting to around three or four shots or whatever 35% of yours would be, that you kill an NPC. Otherwise, you lose it, and that's the bulk of our damage. It's super important that Twisted Round stays up as just forever, and, and it can. It is possible. Our next ability is Hunt the Prey, which just teleports behind an enemy. Remember, we do more damage the closer we are. And so with our mod, we are also applying that Vulnerable. Vulnerable is giving us that 20% increased damage. So we want to be constantly teleporting around, not only to uh, get us out of trouble when, we, when we're in it, but also to apply that vulnerable to a boss or an enemy and then mark them and then do the double damage, which is Venator's Knife. Venator's Knife, you throw this little knife, it marks enemies up to five and the first damage that they, that enemy takes or the marked enemy takes is actually doubled. So this is where you're doing big numbers, 2.5 million and so forth, even higher. And remember, I just got to challenging tier 15, so these numbers are going to get higher as our gear gets more optimal. Ideally, in situations, you would teleport behind an enemy, give them vulnerable, mark them, and then do an insane amount of damage. The reason I say this is because there are times when I'm playing the game where I'll throw my knife and mark the enemy first, then teleport, and for some reason that gets rid of the mark. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. So I would just, just, would just stick to that order. First teleport, then mark, and then do your damage with the pump action shotgun. Finally, the class tree. I'm going to kind of let it go here and kind of you can pause it and freeze. You can see where the tree is. Overall, the the path that we take that we took focuses on cooldown reduction we are focusing on picking up the points that do damage to close enemies just overall weapon damage it's pretty straightforward damage dealt from behind which synergizes with our teleports and the more times that we use our cooldowns when we use them we get increased damage bonuses we're just putting as much damage as we can uh, into our build from this tree I don't want to waste your time and make this longer than it needs to. Make sure to stop by my channel over on Twitch TV slash like a hero. If you want a better explanation or you just want to kind of hang out, ask questions or whatever. I'll do my best to help you out, guys. Remember, we are doing community runs, trying to help viewers and, you know, the community get to challenging tier 15. I hope you found this video helpful. Make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe. Check out all the links in the description, guys. Join our Discord. Thank you guys so much, and I will see you later.